Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2016 Silverback by Forest River. This is part of the Cedar Creek family. We'll take a few minutes to walk around the outside and inside of this uh, brand new floor plan here. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice on the Silverback product, you're going to have a colored fiberglass front cap which actually has notched out lower corners here for better turning radius. So it's a lot easier to tow with short bed trucks as well. You've got a LED light strip here on the front, so it kind of brightens up the area at nighttime. Uh, also for hooking up at night as well too. Got a huge pass-through storage here. Spare tire mounted under here. Back behind here is a little inspection panel area. So you can get to some breakers and fuses and hydraulic lines and stuff like that. Up top here is part of the uh, auto level up control system. That's one of the brackets there for it. Down below here you can see the actual level up leg here pad. Uh, it's a little dirty. This camper just came in. Uh, but basically you, this has the optional six point level up. So you've got two in the front and then two in the middle back there and two behind the uh, rear tires as well too. You've got the power awning here which has the metal protective wrap on it. Also has an LED light strip. Uh, so you've got the best of both worlds. A lot will only have the light strip but this also gives you the metal protective wrap. You've got the upgraded frameless windows here as well too. You've got two outdoor speakers down more toward ear level versus real high. So you got one here, one over here. You've got two propane tanks here. 30 pound propane tanks. Has the auto changeover regulator. You just rotate the little knob here over to the other side for that bottle. This side for this bottle. It's red because they're empty right now. It turns green when they're full. In the storage compartment here, you've got a slam lock baggage door, real nice upgrade. Notice to the thickness of the door. This is not a cheap door. This is a nice heavy duty, thick, insulated door. Nice pass through storage across here. Also, you can remove the screw here. This will slide open so you can get to the back of your water heater and items like that for inspection. Uh, for winterizing purposes. Uh, water heater door cover I got off at the moment but uh, basically you've got your water heater here. 10 gallon gas electric water heater. Two reset buttons. Uh, your gas valve here. Electric switch turns on right here for the electric. Inch and a sixteenth anode drain rod. Heating element behind here if you ever need to change it. And then you've got your model numbers and serial numbers over here on this side. Behind this door here, you've got uh, storage, but also your Dirt Devil Central Vac goes back here if you need to uh, change out the bag and stuff on that. But storage here. You've got the electric outlet here. TV hookups here as well too. Another real nice feature on the Silverback product. You've got little insulated uh, kind of storm door window type things here. Basically this is a little removable thing here. Then you've got your standard screen. It's got the radius top on the door, so if it touches the awning, it's less likely to damage it. Uh, this particular coach is 12,607 pounds, the way it sits, and in its 3,469 carrying capacity. So you can pack a lot of stuff into this coach. Uh, triple entrance step going into the camper. You've got your large folding entry handle here. Uh, you've got uh, light here as well too for nighttime. You've got aluminum wheels, 16 inch tires. These are 235 85R16s. Uh, load range G, so they're not the cheaper E range on most uh, campers. You've got a nice axle suspension upgrade here. Uh, that's a Dexter product as well. Very nice feature to uh, help absorb the uh, bounce and potholes and things like that. Um, also has the, uh, that kind of explains it there, the Easy Flex sticker there, uh, but also has the Dexter Never Adjust Brakes. They're basically kind of a self-adjusting brake. Very nice feature, uh, not found on most products. 
Another nice thing on the Silverback too, they also do the frameless style window here on the side of their slide outs. A lot of products when they do frameless windows go to the cheaper version. Uh, so the window is a different style of window on the side. So it's a nice little upgrade. Another nice feature on the Silverback is the vaulted ceiling, which you'll see better inside. But you can kind of see it there a little bit. Got the bumper here. It's got a little inch and a quarter receiver on the back. Diamond plate cover. LED taillights down here. Got your ladder. Nice crowned roof. And looking under the bottom here. You've got a nice enclosed underbelly, sectionalized panels. It's not the cheaper ABS stuff that uh, has a one sheet. These are individual panels, removable. Uh, you've got a low point water drain here uh, for your fresh tank, also for uh, the uh, ice maker system stuff up in here if they do the ice maker option on there. You've got a radio antenna here. You've got your stove exhaust vent there. Nothing really in between the slides here, but just want you to be able to see it. You've got the arched roof here on the uh, bedroom slide of the kids' room also. Down below here you can see the center jack, your dump area here which the handles are all up in the docking station area. Nice finished off bottom to the slide here. There's also low point water drains over by the water heater area as well too. Got your furnace exhaust, your 50 amp power cord hook up here. The other side of the storage compartment here has your docking station area. Basically got a battery disconnect, your hydraulic selector valves to shut off the rooms, uh, outside utility shower with the long sprayer hose, bypass systems here, winterizing kits, the front cap light switch, uh, cable and satellite hookups, your black tank flush, and your gray handles, which are obviously gray here, and then your black as well too for the uh, black tank. And then you've got uh, water hookups here also for the city water and then gravity fed and everything. Uh, power cord spool here option. You got your power cord there, and then in the box is your stuff for your central vac option. Going over to the next compartment here, uh, this has the household refrigerator, so you've got the inverter system here. Uh, you've got your hydraulic jack system controls all done right here. You've got your hydraulic pump switch out here, also inside, uh, fuse link here. There's also a way to manually run this in and out if you need to. That's done right here with an extra bit. Uh, a little bit of instruction stuff here to help explain that stuff to you as well too. And you've got your codes here. Uh, basically you've got uh, two 7,000 pound axles. Again, G-range tires. Uh, tells you your VIN numbers, tire pressures, 110 pounds. Uh, your weight stickers and stuff here again. Take a minute, walk you through the inside of the camper. Going up into the coach here, you've got your propane leak detector right in the center. You've got your uh, electric box with your breakers and fuses, your Dirt Devil central vacuum system. Uh, you've got a nice coat closet when you walk in here. Uh, basically, you've got a place uh, to hang four different coats. You've got slide out in and out button an off switch for the slide outs as well awning in and out water heater on gas awning light porch light ceiling light ceiling light ceiling light so you got three switches for some ceiling lights uh, i'm sorry this was actually the uh, 12 volt tank heaters for the uh, winter package uh, here you've got your water heater on gas your water pump then you've got your battery condition fresh water black water gray water one and two uh, for filling everything up here 
So you got a nice little central switch area for a lot of these items. Going back into the coach here, we've got uh, really nice LED lighting up in here. You can also see two uh, tracks here, two circular vents. That's for the air conditioning system. They run a racetrack system, so it runs around inside the ceiling there. Uh, you'll notice you don't see the air conditioner. Uh, this has the new Whisper Quiet system. It's a much more uh, efficient and better coach here when it comes to air conditioning. And you've got returns, one here, one here on the side. Uh, so it's much quieter in here when you're trying to sit and watch TV. The bedroom up front, when we order it from the factory, uh, this unit has the second air conditioner on it, so it has that same setup up there too. Uh, we've got the optional Whirlpool upgraded electric refrigerator here, so you've got a nice big refrigerator, stainless front. You've got the larger suburban oven here, again stainless front. You've got three burner stove top. It's got the sparker here for the top three burners, and you've got your pilot light to light for the oven. You've got a bigger microwave system here. We've got a Whirlpool 30-inch uh, microwave. It's really nice, rotisserie tray. Gives you a lot of extra room compared to most brands. Uh, another nice feature here, LED light upgrade. Uh, this is a really, really nice thing to have here. And even over here in like the pendulum lights, LED light upgrade. A lot of these guys cheapen them up and don't uh, point out that type of stuff to you, you know, because they don't have those upgrades. So some real nice upgrades here. Uh, you've got full extension ball bearing drawer guides here. Nice solid surface countertops here as well too. Nice backsplash. It actually looks finished. It goes side to side there. A lot of them just do a small little section. High rise faucet here with the pull out sprayer. Really nice upgrade. Again, solid surface countertops. You've got a smaller sink on the right. Larger sink on the left here. There's a waste can area down here, a little slide out area there as well. Uh, got a place here for your sponges and stuff. Quite a few drawers and cabinets in this coach. You've got the Lazy Boy recliners here, really nice. Electric outlet in between them there. You've got wall switches here. Also an electric outlet below the table as well too. The uh, Freestanding table here has some storage in the chairs. Also opens up with a leaf extension there as well too. Real nice arch to the slide out here as well. Sofa makes into a big bed as well, so if you get a couple extra adults that come with you, they got a place to sleep. Uh, you've got uh, heat vents here in the floor, electric fireplace, nice Jensen TV, two speakers here, some LED lights here. Uh, another nice upgrade here too compared to some brands. You've got the Jensen stereo system here with the Bluetooth capability. You've got the USB hookups here as well. Um, you know, it's got an alarm system built into it as well too for an alarm clock. Indoor outdoor speaker controls. Real nice upgrade here. Electric outlet on the side of the island there. Real nice arch to the ceiling as well. It's not your typical flat RV roof. We've got a fantastic fan here in the kitchen area as well. It's a big turbo exhaust fan. Uh, it's controlled by the thermostat here for the fantastic fan. And you got your dual zone air conditioner control and furnace control here as well too. Uh, behind this door here is the center bunk room. You've got heat and air conditioning in here as well too. Uh, full size couch that folds out to a bed. You've got the bunk area up top. This is on shocks so during the day they can uh, raise it up, have a little more headroom in there if we're sitting there. And you've got a nice arch to the ceiling as well. Electric outlet over there. 
Nice TV area here, some more lighting up there. Got a roof vent up here also. Again, all the LED lights in here as well too. Real nice. Going up the hallway here, you've got a light switch here for the hallway lights as well. You've got a propane leak de or a smoke detector up there. You've also got your TV antenna crank up handle up here as well too. Nice little window going up the hallway. Got a foot flush toilet here. Nice cabinetry here, good place for towels and washcloths. A lot of them are missing that in the bathroom area. Got your skylight, again LED lights up in here as well too. Uh, got the turbo exhaust fan here to exhaust out that shower moisture. Nice sliding glass doors. Uh, you've got the little seat area in here as well too. Ground fault electric breaker here. Going into the master bedroom area here. Got a light switch right on the left when you walk in. You've got again racetrack air conditioning system here. You've got the uh, ducts up there because it's got the second, or the returns up there because it's got the second air conditioning option from the factory. So it's going to be quieter in here if you're running this air. Make it a little easier to sleep. Uh, we upgraded this camper to the Trump King bed. This is a really nice, thick, heavy-duty mattress here. It's not a cheap RV mattress. Got a little bit of storage below the bed as well, too. Got an electric outlet down there. You've got a place over here to kind of hang your robes or whatever, coats. Little nightstand on each side of the bed. Reading light on each side, one for each of you. You've got, again, the vaulted ceiling there. Another electric outlet on this side of the bed as well, too. Into the closet, there's actually a light up here also. So you've got a closet in your light, or a light in your closet. You've got uh, storage in here for your coats, closets, clothing, whatever you want to put up in here. The box is out of the way here. You can kind of see back in here, too. You've got uh, shelving back here, which you can remove if you want. And it's got the uh, washer dryer prep option here. Electric outlet up here as well too. Got some uh, cable uh, satellite hookup stuff up there also. Got a nice little dresser area here. Another Jensen TV. A lot of electric outlets in this coach. There's another one over there. You've got a lot of lighting in this coach as well, too. They're not trying to cheapen it up like some of these other brands. When you walk around and you look and shop, make sure to kind of check that stuff out. You'd be real surprised how many people buy a camper and then don't realize there's not enough electric outlets in it. The lights are very terrible. So kind of check that type of stuff out. Again, this has been another video on the Silverback fifth wheel. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Check us out at CouchesRVNation.com. We are one of the largest wholesale dealers in the country. We will definitely save you thousands compared to most of your local dealers.